Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to Econ2 Macroeconomics. And the purpose of this video is to kind of give you an idea how this class is going to be structured on a week to week basis. Um, what I want to do is I, I don't want to cover any content. I want to make sure that you know what to expect in terms of what you should do every single week. So there's no surprises. And uh, I created a, a course that has a high degree of consistency on a week to week basis. And that's the goal for this particular video. So let's talk about what you would do in any particular week. Let's take week one, for example. Well, week one here is listed as module one. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing uh, reading and watching of lecture videos. And that's always the first thing that you do. So I always have that at the start of the, uh, uh, every week. And I tell you which, uh, what's your reading assignment. Your reading assignment in this case is going to be chapter one. And I have um, recorded lectures on that particular topic. And I have below the recorded lectures um, the slides that these um, recorded videos refer to. So basically, read the chapter, in this case, chapter one, watch the uh, video lectures, and then you're prepared to complete that week's assignments. Now, the, the assignments will always be due on a Sunday. So after you've done the reading and watched my, vi my uh, lecture videos, you are now going to go to the activities to complete section of the course uh, site or in this case this particular week and the activities usually fall into three categories one is are called video questions and these are examples of a question a video that you're supposed to watch and you are to answer only one question so if i click on this link right here you could see that it comes in the form of a one question quiz and you could see I have a video that you're to watch. And after watching this video, you answer only one question. And this is for credit. Now, the questions aren't designed to be difficult, but they are, they do encourage you to fully engage the video. And uh, this is for credit. So please be aware of that. Now, let's go back to. So once you watch the video questions, then I want you to engage in that week's uh, discussion forum. And this is a way for you to inter interact with the rest of the class um, through this activity. And uh, the thing that I ask you to do is read the topic. In this case, it's on opportunity cost. And then I, I give some instructions on how to reply. And I want you to reply thoroughly and please try to respond well before the due date of Sunday, because what happens is if you uh, respond at the last minute, very few students will read your post because what they've done is they've moved on to the next week's assignments. So respond to the forum posts well before the Sunday due date. And then after you've done the reading, you've watched the uh, you've answered the video question and you've done the discussion forum. You're now ready to um, tackle the quiz. The quiz is going to be covering the chapter you've done in your reading up here. And the, the, the quiz uh, is comprised of 10 questions and you answer them and they're a combination of multiple choice, matching, a numeric entry. And you're supposed to answer those before the Sunday due date. And basically that's how it works every single week. Um, read, watch the uh, and answer the video questions, discuss in for, discussion forum, and uh, quiz at the end of the week. So um, there are going to be no surprises. If you have any questions, make sure that you email me, especially on content. And we'll, I'll be checking in periodically with emails and holding some regular uh, office hours, online office hours. But you don't have to wait for those uh, office hours in order to engage with me. Think of emailing me as raising your hand in class. Okay, so hopefully you've got a good idea of what to expect on a week to week basis.